Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, I have a small window during the day to film, so I figured I would do a flip through of all of Maria Troll's books that she has out. Um, Luna just came in the mail today and I actually haven't watched a full th flip through of it, so you will be seeing my first reactions to that video. But um, I did, so I made a video of a flip through of all of Hannah Carlson's books uh, last year or the year before, I believe, and it um, has been very helpful for a lot of people who just started getting into coloring or getting into that, you know, that artist. So I figured I would do the same for Maria Troll because sometimes you don't want every book or you are new to an artist and you only want to buy one to see how you like it and you want to pick your favorite and it's a hassle to go you know look up uh, what books they have and <laughs> um, then just watch each individual video because when I at least for me when I first started coloring I was like always jumping around back and forth trying to decide which was my favorite so hopefully this video will help eliminate a lot of that for you um, let me, I just realized I put this in a bill stack. So she has six books out. Um, and I'm going to start in order of the publication date. I do want to mention, so Botanicum was released earlier, but I didn't buy the original virgin, virgin, oh my gosh, the original version. I bought the newer edition, so I will be inserting it when the newer edition was released versus when the original was. Um, anyways, let's just get right into it. So Drew Maurice um, is also Vivi Sand, Vivi Soaker and Sand or something like that. So there's a couple different versions out there. I think this one's available on Amazon, but it is more expensive. It's $30. This is the Dutch edition. This is her first book. And um, it's so pretty. I love this one so much. So here's the title page. And then just like, you know, a cute little transition page. I forgot what it's called. Um, this Dutch edition does mostly have single-sided pages, which is um, different from all of her other books. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, but And this one tells a story, which I think is really cute. So there's the girl with her little tree house. Here's a pretty wreath with that classic black background. And the paper in this edition is amazing. I love the paper. There's the insider house. There's a pretty vase. And then, yeah, it's just so cute. There's a little bird friend. Her laundry hanging out. <laughs> and then some of these pages have like some overlap because of the formatting, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's a little unique. Um, and yeah, I just think it's cute. This one I actually just completed, so you will see this in my completed pages for next month. Um, but yeah, just so cute. And it takes water medium really well. So this is ink tense, and um, like you can see a little bit of warping, but not bad at all. There's the castle in the sky, her rainbow slide, and then she goes down. So it's like she's traveling all around the world in like the different elements in the sky, in the ocean with this mermaid. This would be great for mermaid. I forgot that was this month. I need to call her mermaid. Anyways, so here she's helping her mermaid friend somewhere. Or, no, this is just the mermaid. And she's riding on the whale. So cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like that at least one of her books is double or single-sided. So if you do want to use a more, um, you know, something like alcohol markers or something that tends to ghost or bleed, then you can without worrying about what's on the other side. Here's her little fox friend. Um, owl. Oh, this one's pretty. So this is a double page spread. There's a couple in here. 
feet. There's a couple more, but the, yeah, it's just so pretty. So many flowers. And one thing about Maria Troll, I just realized that it's kind of annoying, um, is that she uses real flowers in her drawings. Um, some artists will make up flowers. I've been guilty of making up flowers. <laughs> um, but yeah, she uses real botanical references. Um, now, that doesn't mean you have to color it botanically correctly, uh, but I know a lot of artists who do like to know what something is. Um, here's, yeah, there's these cute little tags on there. Love that shelf. This cute little mouse. Um, and I love the trees in this book. They're so pretty. I love that bark. Um, here's another double page spread. I love that overgrowth. Or what is that called? Oh, I just learned about this. The like top of a forest. There's a name for it, and I can't remember what it is. Um, acorn house. And then I don't know what this says because I can't read Dutch. <laughs> And then these are all the things that she's collected on her travels. Isn't that cute? And yeah, going back home. So I have done a few um, pages in this one. I absolutely love this book. This is um, I, uh, watercolor pencils. And again, it just like you can see a little bit of warping, but not bad at all. So cute. Um, and I just like some of these. There's just so many flowers. <laughs> the those ones overwhelm me a lot. <laughs> Here's another one that I did with watercolor pencils. Um, and there she's fishing. And then here's a map of her day, her little land. So that is Droom, right? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, next up we have Twilight Garden. Um, this one, uh, was it this one? Yeah, the, I was on the edge about this one when I bought it, but I decided to go with it anyways. And it's nice to have in the collection. This one has a lot of like the you know flowers obviously but I just feel like the there's a lot more of just scenes of plants um you know like this for example uh and i'm pretty sure yeah so she doesn't start adding the references of what the flowers are until the next book i believe so this one you're kind of on your own a little bit unless you're really good at classifying plants um but yeah this one just has a lot of just plants okay this one's really cute with the kitty sleeping in the hammock there's a sweet little deer i absolutely love i think this is a peony i don't know <laughs> um yeah here's one i did i think that's with Prismacolors, um, some cute little hedgehogs. This one has several black backgrounds, but I think she might add more in some of her later books. Um, yeah. Here we have a little frog hiding in the garden. Some lily pads. This is a really cute scene. See, I, I really love her little scenes so much. Here's like a mandala. Um, here's some bunnies in the cabbage patch. Oh no! They're in the garden! I love this one, and I've seen some really beautiful little colorings of this page. Um, little snail. Here's another floral mandala. Little fox. I love the little foxes. Here's another page with the black background, and this reminds me of kind of like a wallpaper page. It's Looks like it's symmetrical or just like repeated, flipped. 
Um, and sorry, you might hear my little helper in the background. <laughs> um, there's another bouquet. I did this mandala with um, Rojapin pencils. And I think it turned out really pretty. I love this bird holding a bouquet. Yeah, this one just has lots of plants. Lots of flowers. Just by itself. I love this box. So cute. I love that this one has a lot of boxes in it, and that's one of the number one reasons I bought it. Um, I absolutely love this picture. <laughs> oh, there's so many. Like, she has such a nice skill for um, drawing plants. <laughs> oh, this cute deer. Here's another black background. This is another mandala an owl and kind of like another wallpapery page a little bit just like a bunch of random things that you would find on the forest floor for scavenging and then this little i don't know are these mice there's some more plants it's a little squirrel or something this is one of the first pictures that i colored in this book um I thought the cats sitting in the trees, that was pretty cute. Um, I love this one, it's so pretty. Um, with the, are these Einstein bulbs dreams? I think that's what they are. Here's just some more optics that you find in the forest. Another kind of wallpapery flower page. Um, some pretty tulips. I love this page right here with the bike. I think it's so cute. Here's another bouquet, some more flowers. I love this page. There's so much, <laughs> like, um, yeah, it just makes my brain go, woo! <laughs> uh, I think this is really beautifully done. And then here's the last page, which is another bouquet. Alright, next up is Nightfall. Uh, yeah, this one was my favorite of the two that- because I bought Twilight Garden and Nightfall. Those were my first ones, and I loved this one a lot more. This is the plant register on the back, so you just have to look up what page um, those flowers are on, and you can have a visual reference for the colors. So this one, the name- or the title page is a lot simpler. There's the nameplate page, really cute. And then, oh, yes, I love this book so much, sorry. Um, here's these little cottages in this bonsai. And then this is a magnolia tree. And I used poly prismacolors and then acrylic paint. Um, and this takes water media pretty okay. Not as good as the Dutch editions do. Um, like, you can hear that crinkle, but for the, like, it, for the most part, it does pretty well with water media. There's this really pretty um, page. Oh, I love the little bunnies in the hammock of her hair. But can you imagine falling off with your hair tied on like that? <laughs> uh, and then I did this page. I think that's with Prisma Colors also. Here's just some flowers, and we've got this cute owls in a, I don't know, I would say it's a peony, but I don't know, it might be something else. <laughs> Here's some more of that flower, whatever it is, super pretty. I love this picture where she's sitting in the flower, and then here's a deer. And then we have a bunny, this cute fairy, this little house, and there's a little frog in his watering can. I think this is a really pretty scene. With the lily pads from here that turns into water. And then here's a little, like a little fairy or something. And here's a kitty and some more flowers. Cute little, I, oh man, what are those called? I totally forgot. Well, um, 
Here's a bunch of flowers and butterflies. Um, this lady with the owl. I feel like there's a similar picture like this somewhere else. I feel like I just saw that. Um, there's some birds. This is one of the first pictures that I colored in this book. Because I love the lilac. Um, and here's some keys. It's really cute there. It's got a nest in its head. Um, there's a fox. There's another pretty little scene. Girl with her bunny. Some more flowers and birds. And birds and flowers. And here's the fox. Here's some more flowers and butterflies. And flowers and birds and butterflies and flowers. <laughs> And here's a bouquet and a fawn and oh, look at these cute little um i i call them wisps but i think is this cotton i think this one's cotton it's really cute um here's more flowers and butterflies and flowers and a cake oops skipped a page i started this one forever ago and then i was like wait it's a nighttime scene, but I didn't color things to look like nighttime, so I stopped. But now looking at it, this could be the glow of the moon on the fox's back. I can make it work. Um, I love how her hair is like the water again. The little house. Just the kitty again. Oh, look at these cute little things sleeping in the flowers on the back background. I, feel, I think this one has more black backgrounds than Twilight Garden. Um, there's this one. I think this was Polychromos. Um, little mouse and some berries. So cute. They have like a boat race or something. <laughs> and this girl with her eggs. Oh, here's another black background one. I can't remember what that flower is called. This is a pretty little spider web. Looks like a heart. Oh, look at this. I never noticed this. This rock has a face. It's so cute. <laughs> They're meditating together. Oh, look, here's a little wisps. That's how they call them. They're wisps. Um, some little dragons. Girl. And then, yeah, there's the index. And then here's like a page to test medium. So that's nice that that's designated right there. And, oops, so sorry. Next is Flora. Now, the edition of Botanicum, the first one, I think there is a Dutch edition of it available still. It would come right after not Nightfall and before Flora. Um... But anyways, so here's Flora. I started on this nameplate page. I love the super soft colors on it. I don't know if you can see the fur on the kitty. Yeah, this is with Erotitin pencils. And then what I love about this one is Maria starts transitioning into adding more characters. So like here's a mother and her daughter. Um, there's the cat. This one does, I will say, have a lot of small plants, like small flowers, a lot. Um, so if you don't like, hey, if you don't like fiddly, um, coloring, then maybe I would suggest a different Maria Troll book. Um, yeah, just like lots of little plants. Oh, in this one. Um, but I love the character watering her plants. It's so pretty. And here's this little mountain man. So cute. Um, this cute little teapot scene. Then here's a boy with, I don't know, like an elf or a fairy or just a boy. Yeah, look at all these tiny little flowers. Um, here's a tree. I love this little tree house. Um, here's some more black backgrounds. 
Um, and then she also in this one starts adding these borders so it's not right up next to the page, which is really nice because um, it's really hard to get in those grooves and make it look nice. <laughs> Um, girl writing on a frog. I don't know if I've colored any pictures in this one because it is really just like a lot of small little bits and pieces. But it's still really pretty. Um, this is Pretty Little Hut. And there's the, there's the boy gathering little strawberries. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> I think this one is really pretty. I do want to color this one soon. I have so many when I color though. So many. Um, oh, that uh, confused me for it. So she is sleeping on the forest. So I feel like this one kind of tells a little bit of a story as well. There's another water fairy nymph or something. And then she's sleeping and she's got a little wisps. Uh, there's the girl again. Um, yeah, so cute. So this one has a lot of like fairies and um, like nymph type things. There's a little gnome or something. A little Tom Thumb living in a tree stump. But yeah, this one has a lot of little details. And I think that's one reason. This one intimidates me a lot more. It's because of all the tiny little details. And then here we have a more grown-up male fairy um, nymph. I don't know. Whatever you want it to be. <laughs> um, and then here's this black background one. So pretty. Look at this little thing. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a brownie or something. I don't know. Oh, this cute little guy sitting on the tree. I love this page too. This one is so pretty. There's a chicken. Um, and then here's this older... I'm gonna call her a tree nymph. She just seems like she's a tree nymph. Um, so yeah, one thing I really love about this one is Maria starts transitioning to, um, you know, more of an age range of characters. And that's really nice. Here's some more plants. Cute little bunny and elk. I love this page too. She's all bundled up for gathering her harvest for the fall. And look, the little wisps are coming out of the pumpkin. So I think this one too kind of goes along with the seasons because obviously it went to fall and then to winter. Um, and then here's the plant register. This one has a lot of plants in it. And then this is really nice because there's one for the birds and insects and amphibians. So you have a reference for that too. So that's really nice to have. All right, next up we have Botanica. That was weird, it moved. Um, this is a special edition coloring book because it has additional images in it the, that the original Botanicum didn't have. And the original, they never came out with a copy in America. I think it was, you had to buy it, the Dutch edition. Anyways. So, this is the newer edition. Here's the main plate page. Super cute. I love this one a lot. Um, here's this really pretty, like, circular scene. And then there's this little girl. Oh, it's so cute. It's a little, like, cone hat. So cute. It's like a wreath. Is that a wreath? What is that called? Um, yeah. There's a peacock. Super exotic animal. This one does have a lot of little tiny plants, too, but... I don't think as much as Florida does. Um, happy little girl. And then, yeah. E this one would be great for Easter. And then, this is the first one that I did in this book. And I smudged. So, um, yeah, this paper is super soft. So, Christmas colors 
you have to be careful if you have any dust come off the pencil to blow it off rather than brush it off otherwise it'll smear um and then here's this awesome tree and squirrel she rescued the bird um here's some more just like scenes with the squares or rectangles around it and i love how like some of the plants are peeping off it adds like that extra dimension i love this page right here um and then here she is with her little busy bee friends. So cute. Okay. So, um, here's this girl. And, yeah, sometimes it can seem like the, all the books run together because there is definitely a very, um, specific and very strong style to Marie Troll's like themes that she has um it's very wintry this is kind of rare to see now with like her i don't think she's had like an oceany scene since um dream race so that's fun um yeah she has a very strong style which is why i suggest you start out with one book and see how you like it um, because some people love coloring plants and flowers and leaves, and I know there are other people who don't. Isn't this so cute? A little house on the head. It's like an island. It's kind of fun. There's a unicorn. I love this little clothesline. Um, and then we have, this reminds me a lot of, um, one of the other books that we looked at. Um, and then here's some little critters, some more foxes, this king prince, frog prince, this little girl swimming in the water. Sorry, I'm starting to lose my voice, so I'm not talking as much. <laughs> um, I think the style of this is really cool. Um, with the waves super stylized and I love I can see this being really pretty because this kind of ivy gets so pretty in the fall so you do some really gorgeous colors um I think these are baby owls super cute oh I forgot I started this one yeah so this is with the erogeton pencils I love the pastel colors. <laughs> A little mushroom house. I think this scene is really pretty. It reminds me of like um, Wyoming. And some more little critters. Halloween -y one. Then we get into some of the other season. So like winter. This is really pretty. And then here's the plant register and then the insects. So really nice. And then last but not least is Luna, which I just got today. Haven't seen all of it. <laughs> Only like briefly, you know, like one like this. Ooh. Um, but yeah. This is her latest book. It just came out. Here's the nameplate page. And oh, this is so cute. <gasps> and the little, little bunnies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, there's another little bunny. And here she is with her the dragonfly friend. Here's more flowers. Signature of Maria Troll. I love these flowers so much. Ooh, this is really pretty. I love that. Ooh. Um, and here we have a black background. And this is really pretty. I love that. Ooh. Um, here we have some more classic flowers and stuff. Ooh, that's really pretty. <gasps> I love 
this one. Ooh. I I like this. I like this. I mean, I love all of her books. I'll just give that. Um, but this one is really cute so far. Little salamanders. There's a lot more peacocks in this one. Wow. This one definitely feels um, a little bit more exotic and um, there's definitely a lot of the same flavors of her other books, but I feel like it's also a little bit different in some aspects. Um, but yeah, it does have a lot more of an oriental feel. I do know she asks quite often what people want to see and I think a lot of people said, you know, they want to see more variety, so, um, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. There's a unicorn, and look at that cute little hat thing. <laughs> oh, oh, this is really pretty. She's the little jungle girl. Jungle fairy. Oh, look at that. Oh, That's so cute. Do you see that? That's really cute, huh? <laughs> My son had to come over and see what I was um, gasping about. Ooh, here's some more underwater scenes. And here we have the, the busy little bee up close. This one is really cute. Wow. Aw, so cute, that little gnome prince. Oh, this is really cute, too, where he's, like, on his little board raft. Oh. So this one has a lot of those tiny little plants, but I really love the scenes. So I probably won't mind coloring all those tiny little details. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, look at that bear. Oh, he's a cute little bear. And look, I wonder if it's the same bear that was in that other book with the nest on his head or her head. I don't know. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh. This is so fun. So cute. I love this little um, chair thingamajigger. It's a nice way to ride a cat. This is a cute little hello. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's a moon cat. There's a fox, and she's sleeping in this, like, alcove of, um, leaves. There's a little ghosty wisp. Um, so yeah, very signature Maria Troll, but also kind of a newer flavor, too. So that's really fun. While she's sleeping in the hammock. Oh, that's really pretty, too. And then here's a plant register. And the animal register. So awesome. And then there's the test page. So that is all six of Maria Troll's books. Now, obviously, she's going to come out with more. Um, but I feel like this is a good starting point. If you're new to her books or you're trying to decide which one you want to get next or if you want to buy all of them. Um, and anyways, let me know which book is your favorite. This one is mine. This is probably my number one favorite of hers. Um, but yeah, let me know which book of hers is your favorite. And I hope to see you next time. Happy coloring!